Hi YouTube folks. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the light bulbs in the display of your uh, General Motors stereo. Looks like this one here probably will work with a whole bunch of different versions of stereo as well. If you look at the display, I've already pulled it out. Here are some of the bulbs. I call them grain of wheat bulbs. They're all burnt out, so actually the display bulbs are burnt out too, so I can't even see what channel I'm listening to on the stereo. First off, you're going to need to figure out where the leads are. Right here. I'm going to show you a little trick. You're going to need a good soldering iron so that you don't wreck the traces while you're trying to pull it out. A lot of guys, are, they try to remove the solder first and then remove the part. With this particular circumstance, because there's only two leads, it's easier on the circuit board and we can get away with actually not removing the solder first off. We'll do it backwards, sort of, so to speak. What you do is you heat up one side and you put a little bit of pressure on the bulb and you'll feel it give. Don't pull too hard because you'll pull the traces off the circuit board. You'll feel it give. When it gives easy, go for it. And then release your uh, heat from that side. Then go to the other side. You alternate back and forth. So you go to this side and I can feel it move a little bit with the heat. What leaving the solder does too is, is it allows the heat to travel ouch, sorry, th through the yeah, I just burnt myself uh, through the double sided circuit board or there's probably many layers in here it allows the heat to travel through effectively so that it doesn't destroy anything in between or on top or bottom. So I'm going to heat this one up again on this side here and you can see the bulb move a little bit and go back to the other side and heat it up and you can see the bulb move come back to the first one go back to the second one and just like that it's out and we haven't even destroyed the traces or made a big mess so what I do afterwards actually is I'll add a little more solder to that to give me something to to um, either suck on or use some solder braid some people like to use a solder sucker looks like that that can actually damage the traces if you don't know how to use it if you're not careful with it I like to use solder braid it's a lot easier on the traces on the circuit board. So what I do to, um, to get rid of the solder so that you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's no hole there. So how are you going to put the new part in, right? So I actually add a little bit of solder to it. I had a little too much coffee today, so I'm a little shaky with the tip of the soldering iron. Plus I'm holding everything up here awkward so you can see it on the camera. Add a little extra so it's nice and shiny. There's lots of solder there. Then I come in with the braid or solder wick heat it up and kind of wrap it around the tip the solder follows the heat now you can see you got a nice clean hole there ready for the next bulb to go in